Hey guys, welcome to the This Show is This Show. So tonight, today we have a very nice uh, show for you. I switched the battery on my Seiko Arnie H55-8-5000. Uh, Here it is. This watch is very, very dear to me. It's from 1983. My father bought it in New York in 1983, in July, I think. Uh, you can see from the number on the back that it's, it was produced, it was created in uh, July 1983, and he bought it sometime in 83 or say 84. Um, this watch is very dear to me. It's my first watch ever that I ever received. My watch, my, my father wore it all throughout the 80s, including uh, in the 11th of April 1986, which is the day in which I was born. Um, he wore it in the Intifada, he wore it in the Lebanon War. So this, this watch saw combat in Lebanon. The first Lebanon War between Israel and the PLO in, the, you know, in Lebanon. Now, uh, when my brother who is eight years older than me, drafted to the army, my father gave him this watch. And my brother wore it also at his service. And my brother was a combative soldier, so he was wearing it doing, you know, special operations. He was wearing it when he was dressing up as an old Arab woman, you know. This watch. And when I was 16, my, my father gave it to me. This Arnie. Now, I'm not gonna go into the history of this watch because you probably know all about it. I'm just gonna say this watch is uh, from the early 80s. Uh, it was worn by James Bond, which was uh, played by uh, Roger Moore in *The View to Kill* in 1985. But it was also worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnie. That's why it got the nickname Arnie. It's an Anna Digi watch. Um, it's very, very 80s. Very 80s. You can see Arnie, Arnold wearing it in most of his uh, movies. And um, what more can I tell you about this watch? Well, this watch is we went through a lot, you know. Um, the diameter, I'm just checking. I don't want to tell you. Uh, it's 46 millimeter, excluding crown. You know what? Let's flip the camera around and look at this, this watch closer. Okay, let's do that. So here we have the army. It's uh, it doesn't have a paper, it doesn't have a box, but you know it's an old uh, uh, watch. Army wore it in Predator and uh, in Commando, two of which are my favorite watches. Um, as I understand, it's they started production in March of two, 18, 1982, and um, I don't know when they, st they stopped uh, producing it, but. Lately they came up with a new one, a Solar Arne, which uh, my taste is a little too much. The pushers are too big. Now, uh, the diameter is 46 mm without the crown. It's 12 mm thick with the uh, shroud. Uh, 22 mm wide lug width. It's a very good it's a reliable uh, watch, it's, uh, it's very popular in Israel, for good reason. See, it's a little hard to turn the, the bezel, but it works. Wow, okay. It's unidirectional, so you can turn it both ways. Now, this watch, this specific watch, the bezel is the original bezel, it's the OG bezel, and the glass is as well. And nothing has been replaced on this watch. It may look like it, but it, it wasn't. This is an OG from 1983. It has um, some functions, another time zone, a stopper, and of course the date and the day. I'll show you a wrist shot. This is an aftermarket strap from, uh, I think, Long Island Watch, which is, uh, it's like the 
GLS. I don't remember the name of the star, but it's it's the OG strap. I mean, it's not the OG OG because the OG OG broke on me, but this is as close as you can get. Now you will be surprised to to listen that to hear that this watch still has loom. Yeah, this watch still has loom. I know it. It amazed me as well. Let's let me show you. Still very very small loom now on the hands specifically. This is pretty amazing. I mean, yeah. Very cool, very cool watch. Um, so let's have another close look at it and, and wrap this up. So yeah, I mean, this watch is very very sentimental. It's it's probably my most sentimental watch in my collection. I wore it for many years, I just replaced the battery on it and I'm so happy that I have it. I will never ever sell it, no matter what. It's a heirloom, I will pass it down to whoever comes after me. And this is the OG, and if you're looking for a tool watch, then this is the tool watch you need. And it's just 80s, you know, so 80s. 80s style! Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, uh, um, let me know if you have any questions so I can reply and uh, you know uh, get in touch with you about this watch. As I said, it's not for sale, but maybe you have questions. Uh, as I said, very sentimental piece, very close to my heart. Uh, love it, love it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.